Fong stand jab is now plus three on block, plus six on hit. You can even use meaty tricks to make it Lincoln to stand fierce, though it's very precise. Unfortunately, they slowed down Crouch Strong to seven frames so it wouldn't link. This destroys Fong's punishing game since minus six is such a common threshold for punishable attacks. Many of his other normals have been slowed down slightly. Stand short, stand forward, and crouch forward are also one frame slower, while stand roundhouse is two frames slower. Some of his attacks reel a frame longer to compensate for this, but not enough to warrant the slowdown. His V trigger now makes it so his moves require no charging and cancels. This really doesn't change too much as his combos usually grant inherent charge time anyway, but he does have a bit of new stuff. EX Nishi Q has been buffed quite a lot. It has faster duration, higher damage, and faster recovery on hit and block. I have no idea what they were thinking with Fong. Ask anyone in Season 1, they tell you he was bottom 2, and most of his changes are nerfs. He's still got terrible conversions from light normals, incredibly low damage, slow attacks, long recovery, poor reversals, and a giant weakness against any character who can navigate his fireballs. He's vaguely buffed by the new Grey Health mechanics, but he hates losing damage, stun, and Okizema on throws, and he's awful at punishing the new Universal minus 6 overheads. He barely got any changes at all. I feel that keeping 6 frame crouch strong and just letting him have low short stand jab low strong would have been completely fine. My heart goes out to anyone who's been maining Fong since Season 1 and eagerly awaiting Season 2.